America is back is Joe Biden's mantra, and today he took that message to NATO in Brussels. As per usual, Russia was high up the agenda of the 30 NATO leaders. But for the first time, the group's communique laid out their fears that China is a challenge to security and international order. Uh, we have uh, Russia that is not acting in a way that is consistent with what we had hoped, and uh, as well as China. And uh, I just want all of Europe to know that the United States is there. In recent years, the Russians and Chinese have conducted joint military exercises, not just here in Russia, but in the Mediterranean too, though Chinese submarines have not been spotted in the Atlantic yet. After meeting the Queen at Windsor Castle yesterday, Mr Biden revealed that she had asked him about Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping. NATO's dilemma in dealing with both these autocrats is how to challenge and trade with them at the same time. Boris Johnson wants to strengthen economic ties with China, though American pressure forced him to ban Huawei from the UK's 5G phone network on national security grounds. I don't think anybody around the table today wants to descend into a new Cold War with China. I don't think that's where people are, but I, I think people see, they see, they see challenges. Prime Minister Orban of Hungary on the left here has only just stepped back from plans to open the EU's first Chinese university, while President Erdogan of Turkey outraged many of his NATO partners by ordering a missile system from Moscow. Joe Biden will meet Vladimir Putin in Geneva on Wednesday, after cyber attacks this year blamed by the Americans on Russia and the US president recently agreeing that the Russian leader is a killer. Mr Putin giving this response to NBC News. Mr President, are you a killer? <laughs> Over my tenure, I've gotten used to attacks from all kinds of angles and from all kinds of areas under all kinds of pretext and reasons and of different caliber and fierceness, and none of it surprises me. So as far as harsh rhetoric, I think that this is an expression of overall U.S. culture. Of course, in Hollywood, there are some underlying deep things in Hollywood, macho, which can be treated as cinematic art. The U.S. president's visit is not intended to improve relations with Moscow, when stopping them from getting any worse is ambition enough. Joe Biden today described NATO's collective defence as a sacred obligation, and that will have relieved many here, given that his predecessor, Donald Trump, once threatened to walk away altogether. <laughs>